What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to our Dark Souls Remastered Let's Play. And uh, just to recap where we lost last left off, excuse me. So we just found Vamos. He is the blacksmith that is down here in the catacombs. And he actually opened up a shortcut for us, in addition to having this bonfire. Um, so we're going to keep pressing on. And uh, we're going to fight some... At least I think there's some skeleton, like bone wheel skeleton dudes down here. In addition to, I think there's a black knight. Oh, oh, sh oh. No, no, no. How do you like that? Ooh, 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 we got the bone wheel shield. <laughs> and if you hold, or not hold, excuse me, if you tap the left trigger, it kind of does like, <laughs> kind of does like a weird whirly gig spin. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's take that. Take that off. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, down here as well, there's going to be those skulls. Like you can see that red skull over there. So just be aware of that. Um, in addition to contending with the stupid bone wheel guys. Oh, I hate these guys so much. There we go. I wonder if I could actually shoot that. Oh, God, my aim is terrible. Oh, okay. I guess not, but I saw the skull look at the arrow, so it attracted it. Where's that black knight? Ah, I think that's it right there. Oh, it was. Wow. My eyes aren't so bad after all. Take that, optometrist. Oh, no. I think he's stuck. All right. Let's just move up, I guess. Trigger the skull. Run away! Run away! Where is that black knight? Ah, damn. I think he got stuck in the environment. He also has a black knight great axe. Come on, baby. Come on. You make me angry. <laughs> Silly game. Watch, as soon as I, yep, I was just say watch, as soon, can I parry that? Oh man, would you look at that? Oh, I knew it was going to be a good day today. And we got the Black Knight shield, oh nice. Let's take a look. Alright, so it is one unit, oh, no, 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 no. I will, I could have easily died from that, dang, that stun lock is real just to avoid using don't I have where the hell am I oh well that was far uh, I just didn't want to use a, an Estus but the boss that we're going to fight in this area is relatively weak I'm not too concerned but there have been times that you know I've messed up oh I've messed up what the hell is around here is that a necromancer it is damn it stop it Skull Lantern. Okay, so this is also what I was talking about, I think, in the last episode. So if you put it in your offhand, and then you hold the left bumper, that's it just illuminates the whole area around you, but it doesn't really block anything. Left trigger, it's just uh, just like a smack attack kind of thing. Um, so you could use the Skull Lantern if you didn't have um, the uh, Sunlight Maggot. So, I don't know, I guess that's just a workaround for folks that maybe don't know about it. But... Uh, so fire resistance 95 that's ridiculous I don't know if it has a higher stability starting out I'm not quite sure but it is one unit heavier but I think I'm just gonna keep using the silver knight shield uh, this ladder should bring us up to where that black knight was standing and I think it's a tight knight chunk I remember correctly. Yeah, there's nothing else. Whoa! Oh man, I keep getting scared. Also, you can break through the floor. I just don't remember where. Where does that lead me? No, we're good. All right, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep moving. 
uh, I guess maybe uh, you can you can tell I'm a little bit more giddy this episode. I mean, I uh, it's good to be back in playing one of my favorite games. I've just been you know taking a little bit of time off. Also um, during my furlough, you know, I, we've been doing um, some projects around the house. I I also I did get married. Uh, I married my best friend, so life is pretty good right now. And I just got called back to work, so I'm pretty happy about that. But uh, this should be where that tight night demon was, so we don't have to keep going back this way. But, I think we might have to fall through the floor to get to where that, uh, where that black knight was. So I think I have to fall through here. Yeah, I did. I did have to fall through here. Hmm. Poops. Oh! Thought I knew where I was going. Okay. Now, let's do that again. Just because there is a, an NPC that I need. I don't, I don't know if I need to summon him, but I want to summon him. Um, as well as, I think there's an armor set. Like a... I think it's a cleric armor set that's around here. Which is fitting, you know, in the catacombs. Because that's where clerics are supposed to go. in like their holy pilgrimage to cleanse the undead or cleanse the catacombs with their divine weapons and all that all that happy stuff but this should bring us out here and then if you fall down there oh oh let's use another humanity Roll our health back we'll loot this large soul let's summon this guy paladin leroy I don't see any more bone. Wait, 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 wait. I think that's just a body. That's dead. Yeah. That's just a body. Oh, that's just a body that's dead. Okay, but we have Leroy with us. Oh, and we are gonna get that item. Oh, okay. Alright, the priest hat, holy robe, traveling gloves, holy trousers, and a mace. So, just basically like a cleric set. But this boss we're going to fight, it's probably one of the easiest bosses in the game, just because it doesn't have many attacks, in addition to it just doesn't have a very, very high defense. Um, but I do plan on using gold pine resin, just hopefully to take him down that much quicker. So, you won't trigger the boss fight until you drop down in here, which this just looks like one large tomb, or like a, a sarcophagus kind of thing. But I tell you what, let's buff our weapon. Let's do this. Behold, Pinwheel. A deformed entity that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Fight over. Uh, Alright. Uh, we are significantly overpowered. Jeez. Okay, also, we got the Rite of Kindling. So the Rite of Kindling... Let me see if I can show you. Uh, there it is. Right, which boosts bonfires even further. Um, it's a sacred rite passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans had found little use for humanity in turn, until they turned undead. So now with this, you should be able to kindle any bonfire that you sit and rest at up to, uh, I believe, 20 Estes. So... Uh, just from a base bonfire of, you know, only getting five, you'll have to at least kindle it three times with three humanity. And uh, we also got the Mask of the Mother, which this mask belonging to the Kindly Mother slightly raises HP. So there should be three masks that you can get, the Mask of the Mother, the Mask of the Father, and the Mask of the Child. Uh, unfortunately, that does put us over... Yeah, 
It does put us overweight, so I gotta gotta get rid of it. Uh, okay, there we go. So let's keep moving on at least to the next bonfire. I don't think I can go anywhere else. No. Relatively short episode. But all right, now you can see just how pitch black it's going to be. Like legit, this is the only light you get. You get a slight light around your character. So you're almost going to be forced to slow walk just so that way you don't go plummeting off the edge. When I first did this area, oh man, I uh, I got my my junk kicked in so many times. So, this is where the sunlight maggot comes comes into play. Now it's just going <laughs> to going to act as our light source, which is awesome. As well as it's not going to take up a shield spot, so at least we can not only see where we're going, the enemies that are around us, but also we can defend ourselves pretty pretty well. Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> yeah, you can see where you're going. Nope. Uh, there's a lot of loot in here, friends, that I just, I'm not completely sure how to get all of it. This is actually my least favorite area in the whole game. Um, I'll probably put out at least two episodes, maybe even three, just to make sure that I do cover everything to get, all, get you all the items that are down here. But, as you saw, we just took out that large, giant skeleton with relative ease. Um, seems like our claymore is pretty overpowered at this point. Uh, let's not go that way. You can slide down these, so don't be afraid. But there should be at least, I think, one or two large skellies. Large soul of a proud knight. I don't see. Oh, all right. There's archers down there, so let's keep moving. Go. Oh, away! No, 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 no! Stop it! Stop it! I'll drink to that. And then eventually, uh, I believe. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, uh, eventually, we will go down there. But take a look at that. That's the demon ruins. All that down there. That is the demon ruins. That's actually where we uh, we ran down after like a uh, Quaylag. That area, like that little peninsula that you see there, that's surrounded by lava. We were actually down there. Neat. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I think I do have to go that way. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go. Where the, hell the, where the hell was the first bonfire at? Oh, there's an item. That son of a. Here he is. That, there is patches. But tell you what, friends. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and end the episode right here because once we go down this ladder, there'll be a bonfire right there. And I'd rather just quickly show you where to get to a safe spot than anything. So, uh, I'll probably need to level up. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, instead of, uh, you know, consuming all of our souls and boring into death while doing that, friends, I'm pretty sure that this is the best place to stop. So, I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.